Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, that is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for May 6th to May 12th, uh, 2019 and uh, bear with me guys a second until I uh, finish shuffling the tarot cards and we're gonna jump straight away uh, into the spread for you Cancers. Alright. So, uh, the first card, which is marking the topic of your week, guys, that is going to be the Nine of Cups. Followed by the second card, which is the challenges that this week presents to you, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Followed by the third card, which is the positive aspect, or what helps you for throughout the week, that is going to be the Justice card. And then the last one, uh, which we have, that is going to be the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Cancers. That is going to be the Ten of, of Swords. All right, so once again, uh, we have the, um, the Nine of Cups here as a uh, topic of the week, followed by the Four of Pentacles, which is the challenges that you need to overcome. Uh, after that, what we do have, it is the Justice card, which is what helps you in, um, in this situation. And the last one that is to be the Ten of Swords, the Guidance. Alright, so uh, Cancers, uh, it looks like that this is going to be quite an, an exhilarating week, first of all. Um, the only problem that uh, you may face uh, throughout this week resides really in the challenge here, which is the Four of Pentacles. And in this case, it does represent where um, you will try to have as much, um, how do you say it in English really, guys, uh, warranties of uh, what is to happen. So it's kind of like ensuring uh, the most foreseeable future as possible, which never can be the case. Just to give you an example here, uh, <clears throat> if the week... Um, unfolds in a way where you can be with uh, with someone you like, all right? Uh, before you go into it, you may want to have those kind of like reassurances that you, that, that you together can um, actually be into a marriage or sign up a marriage and so on and so forth. And it's kind of like you may want to go ahead of yourself. It's what I'm trying to say. But um, we're going to talk about this in a, in a second here. The first card it is the Nine of Cups, which represents the very topic. So the Nine of Cups is one of the most, of the best positive or of the most positive cards into the tarot deck, only um, being uh, glamoured by the uh, Sun card, the Star, the star card, and uh, only by these two, and the Ten of Cups probably. But the Nine of Cups, it does, it does point that this week is going to be dappled with sensual joy, wish fulfillments as well, and in general, a, a very exhilarating times in regards to either your relationship life, or either your career life, or why not, in both phases. Now, the thing with the Nine, the, with the nine of Cups is that while this card points in extreme sensual joy that one is going to have due to the... Um, uh, due to the um, a positive unfoldment of one situation, the card also represents that this time of um, 
of benefits or how can I place it? This, this time of positivity is only short lived un unless one does not do the necessary approach in order to secure that uh, time of positivity to become a, a long lasting. And this is where the challenge is going to play out. But the accompanied card for the um, for the nine of cups here this is going to be uh, the world card and the world card in a combination it does point to a, a passive friends here and it truly speaks for consolidating really consolidating upon one's dating consolidating upon one's project and kind of like finalizing that important cycle of, of development that you do have right now reaching its peak of experience um settling it down so a a new perspective can or rather like a, a new goal can emerge soon a goal that is going to be uh an upgrade to the current states of yours or the current situation of yours like i said you know you may date with someone so you finalize the dating all right and you you kind of like define a new goal being in a relationship which is the upgrade state of the dating so you do have you here this week cancers transcending or rather like traversing into a the upgraded stage of your life upgraded stage of your career or upgraded stage of your romantic life or why don't in both um in both fields now the challenges like we said uh it's marked with the four of uh, pentacles so the four of pentacles in generally is a card where one is kind of like adopting that defensive stance not wanting to move forward or to make any improvement whatsoever unless there are no um <clears throat> unless there are enough warranties or how, what what was the word that i said beforehand um yeah, uh, security over the foreseeable future. How can I place it? So um, it's very difficult, guys. It's just the word pop up from my mind and I can't figure it out right now. It's on the verge of my tongue and I can't say it. It's just, it's ridiculous. But um, insurances, all right. So you may want to, uh, you may be obstructed of doing any action whatsoever in order to secure and consolidate um your current uh your current state unless there are not enough insurances before you uh, uh insurances for you that this thing is going to work out before you actually make a move forward now while the four of pentacles it is a good card pointing that one is in a, a very good state a very comfortable state it is also deprives one from uh, making any progress forward unless one does not does not wish to step outside of their comfort zone the accompanied card here that we do have this is going to be the king of pentacles and only um adds up to the statement of the uh insurances that you may uh that you may want to uh, adopt before you actually do something in order to improve your circumstances so do not be skeptical it is what i'm trying to say the uh, king of pentacles it is a, a very um generous person in general so you gotta be generous but in the same time the king of pentacles it is not a a person of charity so uh, <clears throat> the problem here could be that you may uh, be uh, rather how can i place it you may be rather um, reposed from um, not allowing this person to be with you or from not uh, investing into a certain project because you don't see the full benefit of it. And for that reason, you may not want to step out of, uh, outside of your comfort zone in order to make the necessary improvement or to secure, like I said, a uh, short-lived happiness into a long-lasting one. To give you another um, example of that, as uh, let's say uh, you do have something that you are very good at doing, all right? And, um, this week, someone approaches you with a proposition to create a, 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 a business over it. And you may be apprehensive doing it because you don't see how much benefit you're going to have from it afterwards. So it does look like that you're going to want to play on a secure bet while this is not the ideal case throughout uh, this week.
So uh, what is going to help you here throughout the week, guys, uh, that is going to be the, um, the Justice card. And the Justice card, it does represent that you will have an acute sense how to structure your priorities. That is first thing. Second, you will have that um, sense of discernment to know what is what really can be achieved and what cannot be achieved. Therefore, uh, you will have uh, that um, affinity to act accountably toward oneself and toward the situation um, as well. But the most, vir the biggest virtue of the um, of the justice card is that you are gonna set up your priorities in a very accurate order, meaning that. Uh, virtually there will be nothing out there that can surprise you in a negative way and as well you are to breathe that confidence into the people around you which are placing a great hopes into uh into your performance the accompanied card here this is going to be the hangman and the hangman with the justice form a uh, active neutrals so it does look like that you do have a pretty good idea how you should proceed on forward with this exhilarating uh, enterprise that it is forming for you throughout the week, which you have to consolidate upon. Do not strain from that idea. As a matter of fact, you are going to have that sense within yourself that that is exactly the right way how you should proceed on forward with your performance, you know, and with your um, wishfulness also. What I mean is that with your goal, and so on and so forth. What I'm trying to say here is that what you do have in your mind uh, in regards to uh, how you should uh, approach from now on your situation, either love, uh, career-wise or love-wise, it is the accurate way how you, should, uh, how you should approach them and therefore you should not strain away from, um, from your original idea or from your original strategy. And lastly, what we have that is going to be the, um, uh, that, that, that is going to be the uh, Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords as a guidance, it does point that in order for you to traverse from a, a short-term happiness or from a short-term exhilarating a um, enterprise into a long-term one, that is going to require some drastic actions, some irrevocable decisions and irreversible actions. This card points, guys, cancers, that you are on the verge of a, a new era and this new era needs to be embarked with um, ruthlessness, okay? So, uh, meaning that you should not think too much about it, you should not think twice about it, but just do what is necessary in order to secure your future dating, your future husband, your future project, or your future work, maybe your future project as well, or uh, business, excuse me, uh, as well. But the thing with the Ten of Swords is that you are going to have requirements, all right? Throughout the week, you are going to experience this, a glimpse of happiness, and that glimpse of happiness comes with the requirements, how you can travel burst into a long-term happiness, those requirements should not be fought, but rather should be embraced with the Ten of Swords. And the last card, which we do have for you, Cancers, that is going to be the uh, King of Cups, which uh, represents uh, the catalyst here to the Ten of Swords. The formation is active neutrals. So it does point, uh, the, these couple of cards as an active neutrals, it's very difficult combo, but it does really point that you may feel it rather reckless and you may feel it rather, um, how, how can I place it, uh, immature to act upon the situation in such a way, you know, uh, with uh, irreversible actions or irrevocable decisions and generally, you know, embrace the, um, embrace the criteria that you need to feel in order to traverse your happiness into a long lasting one. And some of your decisions that you will have to, uh, that you will have to make along the week may look a little bit immature, like I said, and with the lack of balance, but uh, it's what it is necessary this way, especially for those who are finding themselves in a long-term stagnation. These cards have a, a most manifestation, meaning that the time has come for you to truly um, acknowledge that 
of this situation is just taking the the top of the cake and things cannot go any further than that any further like this and you will have to do something about it and doing something about it meaning that you gotta step outside of your comfort zone do not caring about how secure your future is because everything is better than what it is right now so that being said guys this was your weekly tarot reading cancers for may 6 to may 12 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're gonna see each other around until then bye